good morning guys welcome to today's video today is thursday four days till christmas i'm so excited christmas is my favorite this year we're making new family traditions anyways this year new year new traditions i'm super excited to share all of our christmas festivities with you my favorite thing ever on christmas night don't put it so close to my head it's to watch Sophie is to watch other people celebrate Christmas we are starting the day off with Sophie's crawfish tank so her plan is that when all the crawfish eventually die if you're just kids tuning in now she caught some wild crawfish and she I even fell for them yeah, she even fell when she was trying to catch them. But she caught crawfish and she set up this tank that she got for her birthday and she was looking beautiful. Today's cleaning day, so we wanted to show you because there's something crazy that happened. Um, first of all, the one crawfish that I got died because there's two mean crawfish in here apparently that eat them all. And these are the two originals that I originally got. Wow, those ones are the, that's the very original? Yeah, those two big ones. All right, so um, a couple of them died through process of elimination because uh, crawfish can be mean to one another. But that is not the shocking thing that happened. What's the shocking thing that happened? That someone had babies. <laughs> someone had babies. Because they were not that small. Because they, none of her crawfish were, well, there was maybe one this small, but they were not. She did not have a bunch of small craw crawfish. Crayfish. They're called crayfish. Crawfish. Crayfish. She didn't have a ton of babies, and now she has a ton of babies. And they would all be like around that size. So she was cleaning out her tank one day, and she lifted up a bunch of the shells, and lo and behold, there were little tiny crayfish underneath there. And I can tell because the ones that I collected from the place I got them from, they were all like scared of me. And one of these ones was just had their head poking out. Yeah, the babies are not as scared. Yep. This is what I used to catch them. That's what you used to catch them. So Sophie's going to reset up her tank. I loved how you had it the last time. Loved it. Favorite hide because it sticks like out like that. Yeah, you should get like a pirate ship or something. See, I put it like that so they can crawl yeah, under there. Yeah, that's really cool. And they all move stuff around. Okay. Yeah. I kind of want it to be like here though. Oh, I loved how you had it. I wish I had shown them before you cleaned the tank. So here it is. This is how it's set up. It's so cute. It's so adorable. This is where I keep all their food. You can't really see it because we're looking into the light. But isn't it so cute? Okay, I'll go get water, then we can put them in it. So basically, all the babies hide underneath all these little... In the shells. Yeah, they hide literally in the shells. And then, she, so she has a lot of places for them to hide and for them to get away from other animals. One. I'm just gonna put them in. Let's see what he does. Can you see him? We can't see him. There he is. He's right here. Oh, look at his face. Oh, right underneath. That's his favorite place to hide. I Sophie said that she saw them mating. No, I think they were mating. She thinks that they were mating. He's trying to find a place to stay. Oh, look. He's moving it. He's like, I don't like that there. No matter what she does to fix up this place, they move everything around and put it wherever they want. Look, he's going underneath that one. That's his home. That baby's gone. Sophie's always been that kind of kid that loved bugs and loved anything. She likes anything. She likes spiders. Do you like spiders? No. She does not like spiders. Do you like snakes? Well, I would have a pet snake. She would have a Fun pet snake. Fun fact, um, gardener snakes don't lay eggs. Really? Yeah. Huh. It's because I watch a snake channel. She watches a snake channel, but... I've always been the kind of person that only likes soft fluffy things or like hairy things or things that don't have things that could bite. I don't like things with claws or things with, that slither or things that like hide in the night and try and kill you. <laughs> it's me just me. Either. That's just me. She likes almost every animal and I love that about her. Even though I'm not a fan of crayfish, I love that she has her own interests and she's able to pursue them. So it's another freezing cold day on the day by day farm. Yesterday was really I nice. My chores. Yeah. Don't let the rooster out. Um. I'll stay right here. Quick, go. It's actually supposed to be cold today, and then. Who sounded like that? It sounded like a turkey. It said gobble gobble. <laughs> Who gobble, said gobble gobble? Who was it? We need to clean their. Bed. Can you fix it so that it's not lopsided? 
I don't want it to fall over. These guys actually peck you if you're pecking at something. Hi. Look how cute she is. <laughs> she is so cute. We have two more. We have two more that are going to be just like her. I love you, Penguin. So Sam ordered this little case. I don't know where I can hang it. He got it off Timu. You guys know he's addicted. I definitely think he's addicted. <laughs> they can hang it up right here. I don't know. Nope, that's not going to work. Well, it might work. So basically it's just like a little hanging case and it holds all your tools. So I was thinking this is where I'm going to this is where I'm going to build my maternity uh, kit, like my birthing kit for the goats. So I was thinking I could put it here. There. So I was thinking and there's like a little uh, zipper pouch on the top. Maybe I'll get him to hang up something that I can actually hang it from. But it actually almost, it might even be really good for holding our milk, our milking stuff. Sam bought me a milk, uh, automatic milker for the goats. Maybe I can use it for that or put all the extra pieces and stuff in it when they're all clean. I put a little bit of grain out here every morning so that the goats will come out because if I don't put grain out here, they won't come out. And the duck and the goose, I just caught them trying to eat it, trying to steal it. But I think that the duck and the goose really want to be out in this area here with the goats, but I think they're scared of the goats. Our horses are a lot more gentle and kind to them. So when we first got our goats, they were super tiny in the, they were super tiny. Like looking back at pictures, their shoulders were little, their, their hips were smaller. Everything was really tiny and I made it my mission to try and help them to gain weight. It took a lot of stuff. They all had to get shots. They all had to get dewormed. I defleed all of them. And then it took a lot of food, like a lot of food. You would honestly think that goats, because they eat, I think it's a misconception that goats eat everything because they don't. If they're well fed, then they become super picky. Anyway, it took a good six months or so. It took a good four months before I started to notice a change in them. I took a screenshot from our video last night when I was editing and I'm going to show you guys the difference from when we got them to now. It's harder to tell because they're really furred up right now, but you can, but you can see the difference like on their top line and you can see the difference in their, uh, in their back end and you can even see a difference in their shoulders. So I'm going to take a picture here and show you the difference between when we first got them to now a lot of work like even the baby was so easy her, to maintain her weight and keeping her healthy it's so easy compared to how hard it was with the bigger goats I think a lot of the problem with the bigger goats is that they were nursing but even the babies were tiny so I'm wondering if the moms just didn't have enough of what the babies needed I don't know I have no idea I'm not even gonna think about it all I know is that you are gonna fall yeah that's what I said Silly girl. Oh, here you go. Get up there. But they look a million times better now and I'm super happy with them. I'm super happy with you. It's so bright out here, you can hardly see. Hopefully some of their girth has to do with them being pregnant though. Our little weather is just as big though. He's just as filled out. The only thing is, is that weathers I find easy like babies because they aren't ever nursing and, and breastfeeding. Do you guys know that feeling like when you have issues with something and you just can't think of a, a solution ever and then suddenly there's a solution. You just think of it like it just all of a sudden pops in your head. I swear I feel like that happens to me a lot. But I have so many issues with the goats sharing hay. So if they eat at this hay feeder on the wall then some get pushed off. And then I was thinking like I wish I had two sides. So that some could be on one side and some could be on the other. Presto, I realized we had this other feeder. Why wouldn't I just bring that in here where it's covered and protected from the snow and the rain and then suddenly everybody can eat. <laughs> I'm so proud of me. Like I had that thing in a spot that I didn't want it. I hated it. I wanted to get rid of it. I was like, I'm never going to find a spot for this. This is so dumb. But there's even a goat on the other side eating. So like the baby can go over on the other side and not get run off. 
Although she's in the barn right now. Probably in my grain buckets, I better go see. But anyway, I'm excited about it. I'm glad that I did that. Still, we have a super warm corner over here with, with straw that they can cuddle up in. I've never felt more satisfied with the solution ever. Like that just works so perfectly. Oh, she's not in here. Where is she? Where's that baby goat? There you are. Come on, you have to go out. I'm leaving the barn now, you can go out. My job here is done. She's so cute. Hey, <laughs> come back here. She's like, but I really want more grain. Oh, she's starting to learn to run from me. All right, so it kind of works. The baby and the boy are still pushed off. I'm gonna throw a little bit of hay over there for them. So the reason I share this stuff with you guys is because oftentimes you guys will give me like something, a solution, something that you guys do in the comments. It bothers me a lot when an animal doesn't, oops, it bothers me a lot when an animal doesn't get what it needs. All right, literally I throw hay over here for them and then all the other goats come and try and eat it. Over here, look, you have all these feeders now to yourself because they want that. Look, a new feeder for you. My work here today is done. Today is the winter solstice. Did I tell you guys that? Did I mention that? I love the winter solstice because it means that this is the last day that it'll get as dark as it does, as early as it does. With the light, it's just gonna get lighter and lighter and lighter as the season goes on. I hate the dark. It's the shortest day of the year. You know what gets rid of frizzy hair? What? You know what gets rid of frizzy hair? What gets rid of frizzy hair? Well, like static. What gets rid of static um, hair? The cold, apparently. Oh, I feel like the cold makes static. Hi, Lucy! Adios! Look at my baby! <laughs> I posted a short video today of Ellie just Hi, being a brat. Yeah. Sam parked in the mud yesterday when we came home and when <laughs> Sam and Sophie... <laughs> Look at Storm! You see him? He's in the shelter. You know it's cold when Storm is in the shelter. That's all I gotta say. It's actually cold and we're going riding. I hate that. I feel like I see babies moving inside our goat's bellies. Well, her side. But then I look at the boy and I see babies moving in him too. Because they're so chunky. Like, look at him. You see the, you see the chunk? So, Sophie, come and see what I did. All right, well, they wreck that. Hi, Lola. Oh, I hate when they do that. Oh, there we go. That's where I sit. I'm thinking today about putting an actual bench there. So for me, the winter solstice basically means the end of winter, even though it's not the end of winter, it's just still just starting, but at least I know it's gonna end. All right.
All right, we're done. So we noticed that our weather was sniffing our baby girl. She doesn't our, even seem to be in heat. She doesn't seem to be in heat, but who knows? Yet, Mom. Oh, I almost forgot to lock. I almost forgot to lock their door. Right now? Yeah, so I had to separate her from the buck. Is it possible though? Like, could. Wow, it's in minus two. Freezing in here. But could she actually be in heat? She's literally a baby. When we have babies, I plan to. Uh, wean them at 10 to 12 weeks but that makes me nervous because she can't be more than 12 weeks like we got our babies at 12 weeks and honest to god they were double her size so i don't understand i don't understand how he could be sniffing around her the biggest sign was at he this was size there goes stormy boy you guys i am so excited for christmas like you have no idea how excited I am for Christmas. Don't you know that you